In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Hi, good people. How is your day? To some, it is evening, afternoon, night. Wherever it is that you are, and I thank God. Today is the last day. Oop! Can't wait. I'm just so happy. I'm just so happy. 25 days. Allah! <laughs> that is God. <laughs> it is God pitches, and I thank God. Today is the last day of praying for our candidates and our school-going children. Tomorrow, remember, as we do physics practical, we will be accompanying our sons and daughters home. By the time we are going for, for the adoration, they will be on the roads going home. That I can assure you. Tomorrow first. Today it is the last, last day of the month of March. You see, two things are ending. If not three, if not four, four or five. One thing that is ending is the novena. The other thing that is ending, it is the month of March. The other thing that is ending, it is the exam. The other thing that is ending, it is the stress of March. The other thing that is ending, it is the anxiety of waiting for April. Allah! <laughs> so many things are ending. And so we continue with the lack of judgment. Tomorrow, remember, we thank God that uh, tomorrow we enter into this. Eh? Uh, for the last uh, see, uh, day, uh, since, um, since when? Since, I'm looking at when, since Monday, yeah, I think Monday, we've been looking at the, how, why we should not judge others. Yesterday we were do, looking at reframing. Today I want us to, no, I mean, we talked about looking at your own behavior. And part of that is what we want to pick up down there. That is, educate yourself. Why do we talk about educating yourself? Educate yourself that uh, we are not all the same. And I think I said this yesterday. And I said, um, in terms of culture, in terms of religion, in terms of family background, we are so different. Um... You see, if, if, we, if we are not able to, to do that, we may always pass the wrong judgment. Albert Einstein said, and I want to quote, Everybody is a genius. But if you judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree, it will live its whole life believing that it is stupid. End of the quote. Albert Einstein. That's how different we are. There are those who can swim on water. Their judgment should never be done on the dry land. There are those who crow or walk on dry land. Their judgment should never be in the middle of the waters. Deep waters, no breeze. There are those, as I said yesterday, there are those who are well-educated and schooled. Their judgment should never be done in the arena of men and women who never attended school. Is that so difficult to understand? It is not. And the same even those of us who had children in school. That's how different they are. If a child comes with temperament, that it has nothing to do with you. So don't take it personally. They may be reacting on some situation that they are going through. Their reaction has nothing again to do with you. What they are doing is what they think that it is okay for them at that point. Somebody may be hurting because my dad left me. Somebody may be hurting because my mom left me. The other day, a young girl told me uh, that, Father, I don't know what I can do to keep remembering my dad who died. You see, that girl has an emotional lacuna. Another girl of her age who has her loving dad alive, her wish is different. While this girl is lamenting, mourning, and... Um, 
and painting that the dad is dead. The other one has a living dad. And therefore, those hang-ups and those pains she is not having. So she may behave slightly different from the other one. And then you want to pick both of them and then you judge them. You must be the most unfair human being on earth. On earth. The day you will know that our circumstances influence our behavior, it is the day you stop being stressed. Today, some of you, I am not part of you, some of you are so stressed because you passed judgment on someone who may have needed mercy. You condemned someone who may have wanted your love and forgiveness. You never educated yourself on that person. You did the ground judgment on a person whose judgment should have been done in deep waters. Can you imagine? I have a story. A story is told of a gentleman, a village that he used to dance. It's called the Dancing Village. That village had a, a, what we call the village square. A, a square is where people meet for socialization. In that village, every Sunday, they had a tradition that every Sunday, they would go to the square to dance. And they were so used to dancing that whenever they go to the square, their dance was so well synchronized that you would know these people have been dancing together. So they kept on dancing and dancing and the dance was harmonious, it was melodious, and it was well synchronized and choreographed if you like. However, one day, one day, a gentleman who was on his way to a certain place, as he was walking through the, the village, he realized that people were dancing. The village was, wasn't so big. And what happened is that when they would dance, everybody would go dancing. Every one of them would go dancing. So he thought that everybody is dancing and he entered into the fray and started dancing. Remember, it is a tradition in that village. Every Sunday to dance. They know the rhythm. They know the tone. They know the lyrics. They know everything. That would make them to harmonize their dancing and to synchronize their moves. This is a stranger who has just been driven to the dance by the sheer fact that everybody is dancing. What do you think happened to the stranger? The stranger entered into the dancing square, started dancing. But the guy was completely hundred thousand and twenty off key. When people were moving this way, he would move this way. When they were throwing their right leg, he would throw his left hand. <laughs> he was so out of sync to the extent that he became a distraction. So one person was very concerned. Why can't this person See at least that we are, we are all synchronized. He came to spoil the dance. And the adjudicators, as it were, judged him so unfairly. And they were not only unhappy, but they ordered that he be removed. And the, the marshals, the field marshals, the persons who were manning the dance, before they removed the fellow, the dance ended. 
Because when he came, the dance had started. And before the judgment was passed that it should be removed, uh, before the bouncers, uh -huh. <laughs> before the bouncers went to remove him, the time for dancing ended. But that did not stop the judges, the adjudicators, to interrogate the guy who was out of rhythm, out of sync, out of topic. In their anger, in their rage, in their frustration, in their this or this or the other one, they realized, Lord and behold, that the guy was deaf and mute. Deaf and mute. For him, he was moving the way he thought he would move. The others was, was, had a synchronized moves because they would hear, they would talk, they were okay. They were owners of the dance. They were villagers. They were at home. He was not at home. He never knew, knew the dance. He never knew the music. He would not hear. He would not speak. He would not do anything. But he had a good heart to dance with the villagers. Some of us right now have been judged. Some of us right now we have been ostracized. Some of us right now have been condemned. The reason why that has been done it is because our judges, our adjudicators, our bouncers have not noticed that we are not only mute but deaf. Music means nothing to us. The person who has made you to sleep without food for so many days doesn't hear. That fellow has never spoken one word. That person doesn't know the sweetness of the dance. You have been dancing the rest of your life. You have been dancing as a tradition. You have been dancing as a passion. You have been dancing as a habit. You have been dancing as a routine. This is a deaf, mute fellow. Educate yourself. Educate yourself. Please do. Please do. Please do. Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, we meet on Saturday. Tomorrow it is Friday. On the day of the closure mass, we don't do devotions. So what I'll do tomorrow, I'll just call you. I'll just do a bell. Wake up, wake up, wake up. It is the day to close the novena. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Happy new month. Oh, it is tomorrow. Oh, thank you. Go.